Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a new video in our Cheapitronics for Paper Crafter series. Today I'm going to share some tips and tricks for getting the best results from your paper circuits, so let's get started. First I'm going to create a simple parallel circuit. I've traced a circle on my panel as my battery outline, and I add a small piece of double sided adhesive in the circle to help hold my battery in place. Next, I run a strip of conductive fabric tape from the inside of the battery outline up the panel. I'm going to use a blue marker to trace the tape to show that this will be the negative part of our circuit. You'll notice that our design team often uses red and blue to help show the negative and positive sides of their circuits as well. The tape is the same, the colors are simply there as a reference guide. Then I place my 3 volt coin cell battery positive side up in the circle. The battery will have a plus sign on the positive side. The bottom negative side of the battery has curved edges and no lettering. Next I take a second piece of conductive fabric tape and run it parallel to my first piece of tape, but this time I'm starting it on the top positive side of my battery. I'll use a red marker to show the positive side. Again, as you can see, the negative line of tape touches the negative side of the battery and the positive line of tape touches the positive side of the battery. Now it's time to place our LED stickers. Our stickers come in a variety of shapes, but today I'm using our original green LEDs. Each triangular sticker has a long side and a sharp point. The long side is the positive side of the sticker and the small point is the negative side of the sticker. An easy way to remember the difference is that we always want more positivity in the world, so the positive side is bigger on our stickers. No matter what the sticker shape, the positive side will always be the bigger side. So I carefully peel off a sticker and then place it over my tape, making sure that the long positive side of the sticker covers the positive line of tape, and the negative point of the sticker covers the negative line of tape. If your LED doesn't light up, my first recommendation is always to double check the negative and positive sides of your circuit. My second recommendation is to make sure you've really pressed your stickers firmly to adhere them to the tape. Our adhesive is quite sticky and you can see here as I manipulate the paper that the LED stickers can bend slightly. In general, we don't recommend bending or folding the paper, but a little wear and tear is okay. However, there's always a chance the sticker could shift slightly in the mail or maybe it didn't get as good a seal if you had any oils in your fingers. So to give me a little peace of mind, I always like to reinforce my stickers with more conductive fabric tape. You can add a patch over the negative point and positive sides of the sticker, or use up some leftover scraps of tape from your roll. Just make sure that these patches don't cross or touch the opposite lines of tape. Our fabric tape is conductive on both sides, so you want to avoid crossing the positive and negative. One battery has a good amount of juice to power your LED stickers, but the more stickers you add to your circuit, the faster the battery will drain and the LEDs may be a little fainter. An easy way to give your circuit a little more power is simply to stack two batteries. Again, it's important to make sure that the stacked battery is also positive side up, so that the negative side of the top battery will be touching the positive side of the bottom battery. To do this, I carefully peel the positive line of tape off of my first battery. Then I use a little scrap of conductive fabric tape to make a loop on top of the battery, and then I stack my second battery on top, positive side up. The loop holds the top battery in place while still allowing the circuit to complete. I want to make sure that the positive line of tape can't accidentally touch the side of my stacked batteries and potentially short the circuit. So I take a small piece of washi tape and place it over the edge of the stacked batteries. Then I stick the positive side of tape back to the positive side of the battery, and you can see how the washi tape shields the side of the batteries. It's a little hard to see how bright the LEDs shine with two batteries, so I've created another parallel circuit using only one battery. I also reinforce these LED stickers with patches and scraps of conductive fabric tape. When I turn off my desk light, you can really see the difference here. The LEDs on the right with the stacked batteries have a much larger glow radius. Stacking batteries isn't necessary, but it can certainly help add a little extra shine to your project. 
So in conclusion, when creating paper circuits, make sure that your negative and positive lines of tape touch the correct sides of the battery and that your LED stickers touch the correct negative and positive lines of tape. Press hard to make sure your stickers really adhere to the tape and consider reinforcing them by covering the negative and positive sides with additional fabric tape patches or scraps. And finally, if you're wanting a little more power and light, stack your batteries for a brighter glow. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics for Paper Crafter series and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting. Bye!